Hello, I'm Chef Kier again. So I'm about to make flour with pool sugar. So we have red here for a flower, make a rose. We have some green to make some leaves. And we have some other colors that we can make decorations later. Okay, so you have your satinized sugar. You see how it's completely shiny? And that's what you want. So then, there's this motion that you you take your sugar and you go like this. And from this lip, from that line, that's where you pull your petals. Then you pull. Of course, we're making the center. So I'm going to make it just a little longer. And then you roll it. To make the center of the bud of the rose, right? And put it there. I'm going to do two petals around the center. So I'm keeping my sugar under the lamp so it stays flexible. I'm going to put another petal here. I usually do the center and then I do two around the center and then I do three around the two. And you have to leave one side of the petal open because you're going to stagger the petals, right? One side of the petal is going to be over the other petal and the other side is going to be under the other petal. So we stagger it. Okay, I have another petal here. And you can actually shave the petal a little. And then we're going to put this one right inside this, the first one. Try to keep them open. That's the second one, so I need a third one. Usually it's odd numbers, except for the two around the bottom. And then I put this one inside this one and over the first one you see you have the beginning of the flower so now what I usually do I take this and I put it upside down because all the other petals, I'm just going to glue them without even looking at the flower all the way around. This is a technique uh, created by um, Chef Ewell Nader. There are all kinds of ways of making flowers, so this is one of them. And I, I like it because it's, I think it's a lot easier. So of course I'm going to the third row which means I'm going to make the petal just a little bigger. Maybe you can be a little more decorative with the petal and you're going to put it by itself to cool down. Don't worry about the little strings of sugar. I'm going to put it on the metal here. Can you see that? just to take cool down. This is cold, so it's gonna help. I'm gonna keep making petals. Look, and my sugar is still soft, because I keep it on the lamp, under the lamp. If it gets too soft, I'll put it out. I'll take 
a knot pedal out here. Just to make it just a little bigger. If you have really, really tight gloves, like extra small, they're so much better to work. So making a flower is really a work of love and dedication because it takes a long time to make just one flower. Try to make it a little concave so you have the shape of a round flower later when we put it all together. I'm going to make five petals now because I have the center, I have two around the uh, bud, I have three around those two and now I'm going to do five. And very important that you make your petals really thin so they look at the end very delicate. I have four. One more. And don't worry about the end of the because you're not going to see that later. You, you will be able to cut the end if it's if you don't like it because you just want to see the top of the flower okay I have five petals in here so now I'm gonna need lamp You can use a, a flame lamp. You don't want to use a candle because it just darkens. It burns your sugar. Okay, so then what I'm going to do I'm going to put it around You only want just enough so it would glue up. Huh? And I'm putting it right under the previous petal. And I'm making the edge of the petal touch the table. That way we'll keep it even. You see, and I wait all the way around with my five petals, and now I'm gonna do. You can do seven, or you can do five bigger. I think I'm gonna do five bigger. And if you're curious. go under and you see how your flower is coming along. You see here? Ok, 
Okay, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to make my next petals. Okay, I'm going to make my next row. I'm going to make them a little bigger. So, for bigger petals, you just keep pulling. I mean, if you want to make a really big petal, you just pull evenly all the way around. You see how big that one would be? But I don't need it that big right now. Trying to curve it just a little bit more. I'm trying to make a little lip here to the outside so it looks like a flower that is opening. See, that's good. And then I'm gonna let it cool down. Okay, I have two petals. I'm gonna make five larger. Three, two more. Now, even though I'm saying that usually it's odd numbers, if you make your row of petals and you think you can fit one more there and it's not an odd number, go ahead. I mean, flowers are all different in nature. You want to create a beautiful flower and if that takes six petals then that's what you do. I have one, two, three, four. five just to prove my point I'm gonna make a sixth one I'm putting another set of gloves because the first one is making the sugar sticky. So it's easier to put one pair of gloves over because when you take your glove, your hands are going to be sweaty and it's going to be difficult for you to put a glove in a sweaty hand. Okay, so then I'm going to turn this on again.
This lamp is really hot, so just a touch is more than enough. If you have a flame, you might need a little more than that. The point is not to melt your pedal, but to make it sticky to a touch. here it's coming it's looking like a pretty flower and you can keep going and going and going all the way around always remember that you make bigger petals I'm trying to adjust this here so it looks the way I want it you see how pretty and that's how you make a rose <laughs> 